Hola guys, it's Tara by Test. I um, told myself once I got 10,000 subscribers that I would uh, do a live video for you guys. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, just on here a little bit before work. I have so much to do. I shouldn't really be doing a video, but um, it won't be today <laughs> when I do the live. Just because... Uh, I have meetings before school, during school, after school, plus progress reports and you know report cards and in addition to lesson plans and all that other stuff. Like people think teachers grade all the time and that's what they're upset about. Like grades maybe like two percent of what I do, you know. <laughs> Grading papers is like nothing. And plus I can just pick a paper and grade it and that's like one grade, you know. So um, I went ahead and drew some cards for you guys. Oh my goodness, this is going to take up all my time. I hope this is in the right order. So, you got the star card, which is healing. Um, because it's 17, that equals to 8. 8s to me are always signaling changes of mind. We have 6 of pentacles, which says giving and receiving, which we knew that. Okay. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have 2 of swords. But because 6 of pentacles is a lot like having 2 options to weigh, I feel like somebody is weighing an option. Um, it could be um, two different sides to things. And anytime I have two of swords, there's always some kind of truth that needs to be had to address an underlying issue. Okay, um, This is refusing to see something. And here we have somebody who's very aware or vigilant of something. Because the star card is being noticed. It's being in the spotlight. It's an awakening, which again can be talking about the change of mind. And then Six of Pentacles is talking about being vigilant as well. So there's something that somebody's refusing to see that they're really aware of. So I feel like Two of Swords can sometimes be denying your own instincts or thoughts. Um, but I also feel like this is going to be a really good day for people because this is supposed to be for Wednesday. Whoops, I should have said that, huh? I feel like you will be noticed and given a, like a just reward pretty much um, because the Six of Pentacles usually has the scales. Um, this is about, when it's upright, it's about giving and receiving fairly. So somebody's going to give you like, what you deserve, what you hope for. Okay. Um, on a more positive note, Two of Swords, in the upright especially, in the reverse not so much, you would think it'd be the opposite. But Two of Swords actually means affection and intimacy. I know, he usually has the swords over his heart and he's not letting anybody, but here, yeah. And see, I feel like this does have something to do with an awareness. Because even though his eyes are shut, he has that third eye on his helmet. And it's open. So he's he's still seeing it, you know. And if you see, look, right there. I don't know if that's the sun or the star. But I just think that's really crazy that the same light is in the same picture. But normally when I see, let's just say the star is somebody's feelings towards you, okay? Um, and this is saying, they're, they're trying to stay balanced, but they probably really see you as unique. They see you as somebody who makes them feel comfortable. And I feel like this could be reciprocal, like you both are feeling the same thing. I want to pull another card because that two of swords just kind of threw, throw, threw me a little bit. Uh, throws me sometimes whenever the other cards are so, so positive. So that's why I gave you the positive flip on the two of swords, which is intimacy and affection. Right, let's see. I went ahead and did the other cards just so it saved me some time, but I guess it didn't. I'm thinking I may do the live video tomorrow, Thursday. Because I don't have any pressing things due on Friday. <laughs> so that does not count. There's like 10 cards there. I just need one. Ugh. I will say the one disadvantage of using my new deck is I don't pull these in reverse. Okay. Well, we do have that balance. So temperance could be involving a Sagittarius or an Aquarius because we do have the star card. But I do see that balance. Um, just make sure people that um, something's not going to your head with the star card and um, six of pentacles. Seven of swords, seeking the truth. There's all, man, There's always like this bright light 
in some of these. Yep. And then we have the hermit, which is seeking something. There's something you're seeking after. Some of you are seeking to be recognized. Okay. It's about love. I've got the lover's card here. It says move. Okay. Why the lover's is called move is so hilarious to me, but what I'm just saying is, yes, there is a decision you have to make because the lover's is all about, wait, that's not a lover's. Oh my goodness. No wonder I'm messing up. Um... I'm completely drawing a blank, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got a lot of Major Arcana, though, just then. Major Arcana. Oh, that's a chariot. Okay, so maybe dealing with cancers. I should have known that. I'm, I'm the chariot, you guys. <laughs> Move. But it does have to do with love. I mean, look at that. So, saying you gotta have that balance again. I don't know why it says move. It is about moving, but this is mainly about having balance. That's what Chariot's all about. And it says if you have emotional control or balance, you'll get your dreams. And the star card is a wish or a dream. So, so far we have Aquarius, Sagittarius, um, Virgos, <laughs> Cancers, and now we have Aries. <laughs> because this... Uh, Chariot says move. This one says lead. Again, kind of like Tuesday for the single people at least. There's some kind of move you have to make. Something that you have to take the initiative on. And maybe about um, having that truce with somebody that I was talking about. Because there's so much here about balance and then making a move. Also, Seven of Swords can be taking your power back. But either way, I feel like when you move, it needs to be in moderation. Because we did have that chariot. Not too slow. Not too fast. Don't be the bull in the china shop. Because um, here the advice is usually be cautious, go slow. Um, also, when it says seek the truth, what you're really doing is seeking information. You're trying to get an education. And Seven of Swords is an education card in the positive sense. Again, we have that light that we're trying to find the light, guys. <laughs> um, and the star seems to be the summation of having found it. Or at least really, really hope, having hope that you'll find it. And then, of course, we have another seek, which is the hermit, which is the education card. It's seeking the truth. It's seeking. It's getting education. So there's something you need to learn or see. And I feel like with that two of swords, it's saying, again, have that truth. And then you address an underlying issue with that truce. So the underlying issue is probably the information you're looking for. You're trying to figure out what, what the hell's going on. Um, and I feel like, again, you're trying to come to some kind of a resolution, some kind of healing, where both people benefit. So somebody, like, this is getting your just rewards, usually. It's also getting attention. It's also getting revenge but I don't see any revenge cards in here okay so it's pretty much getting what you need to heal this could be closure okay all right so let's plan for Thursday evening oh sometime after 6 p.m. central time in America <laughs> okay all right guys have a good day